what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Last night, members of the Missouri House faced a vote on a bill that would bar marriage from state residents 14 or younger. Check this out. 50 of these clowns voted no. Granted, the bill passed 95 to 50, but the surge of opposition is noteworthy since the bill is geared to reform a state law that's been criticized for making Missouri a haven for sex trafficking. It's a law that permits younger teens to enter into marriage regardless of their age gap, so long as someone, a parent or a judge, says it's okay. Under current law, for instance, a 15-year-old can marry a 30-year-old as long as they obtain permission from a parent. And those even younger than 15 can legally marry with the approval of a judge. Let me say this again. Those even younger than 15 can marry with the approval of a judge. The bill in question, sponsored by Representative Gene Evans, a Republican from Manchester, would take parents out of the equation. Minors between the ages of 15 and 17 would need a judge's approval to marry. 17-year-olds would need a parent's consent. And in a first for the state, Evans's bill would outright ban the practice of issuing marriage licenses to children 14 or younger. The measure would ban marriages involving one partner younger than 17 and the other older than 21. And in the case of any marriage involving a child under 18, Evans's bill would also require a court to determine that there is no evidence of coercion or abuse of either person entering the marriage. It's worth mentioning that in all other cases in Missouri, a person 21 or older can be charged with statutory rape for having sex with a minor under the age of 17. I didn't realize that Missouri was a part of Appalachia. This is crazy. What type of lawmaker would vote for such a law? What type of lawmaker would allow people to prey on underage children unless they were somehow sympathetic toward those who prey on young people under age and maybe because they can really relate because maybe they even take part in the sexual exploitation of children who are under age. I'm telling y'all, America is going backwards socially, morally corrupt, we can't tell no, man, I understand why the people in the East is tripping. I understand why they say we don't want y'all around here. Yeah, they got some ways that are backwards too. But I'm telling you, we got some of the worst. We got some of the worst, man. They may have one or two things that's really thrown off, but we got hundreds. The biggest thing we got going in America is capitalization. You can't come here and get rich. No doubt about it. You live in America, I don't care if you ain't got two nickels to rub together, you can find a way to get some money. You can get paid in America because everybody got something they can do just as good or better than anybody and get paid at doing it. It's your job to identify what that is, apply yourself, and go get that money. Go get that money. But man, these politicians are off the chain. This shouldn't even be a question. What are we like? Back in the 1800s, we got a bill. You got to pass a bill to break this stuff up. <laughs> and you still got 50 seated politicians who voted no. They like, hey, man, we ain't trying to change nothing. We like the rules like they are. We like this sexual exploitation thing we got going on. I bet you if they dug deeper, they could bust some of those politicians for sex trafficking. I can guarantee you that. The state of Missouri is an embarrassment. It's like 
They're checking out what Alabama doing. It's like, man, we don't like them. Man. We the most, we got the most degenerates, man. Our lawmakers are the most corrupt. We want that title. We want our title, man. We want the title. They're going after it too. This is legal child molestation. So I give old Evans props for put, pushing that bill, trying to stop this, break this thing up. And all of the other ones who voted a yes on that bill. And to the ones who voted no, I say, watch them. Start an investigation on them immediately. Watch them. Because judges often make decisions based on their own convictions. Listen to what I'm saying. It's time to start some investigations. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.